DeFi is one of the hottest trends in blockchain right now. There's an explosion of DeFi apps being built on this new open financial system, which has created a ton of demand from people who understand how this stuff works. So today, I want to give you a hands-on introduction to DeFi programming so that you can capitalize on this trend while it's still early. But don't worry, like you don't have to be a developer yet or understand anything about blockchain in order to follow along. I'll show you everything from scratch and it's really not as scary as it sounds. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So if you want to get into DeFi programming, there are a few fundamentals that you must master. All right. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. So the first is how to interact with Ethereum as a developer, you know, how to connect to it, how to send transactions, how to, you know, work with account balances and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, um, you know, if you look at like DeFiPulse.com, um, Vast majority of the DeFi applications are built on top of Ethereum. You know, there's some others, but, uh, you know, Ethereum is really hot for DeFi. So I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. And then next is how to use tokens on top of Ethereum. Okay. You know, how to, uh, send tokens around and use them in apps. So if you use any of the major DeFi apps like Compound, for example, then they all use tokens in some way or another. Okay. So, you know, Compound is a savings and lending app where you can supply tokens and earn, you know, interest for supplying to the app and also borrow tokens at an interest rate as well. So if you want to build your own apps that interact with any of these DeFi projects, or maybe you want to build your own DeFi app, then you have to understand how tokens work. You have to understand how to interact with Ethereum. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. First, we'll look at Ethereum accounts, right? Which, you know, have public keys and also private keys. Okay. And the public key, um, and then also its related address is like your username on the Ethereum network, okay? And the private key is sort of like your password because when you use Ethereum, you know, you don't have an individual account for each app, right? You have an account that corresponds to the entire network, which is kind of like your username, which I, you know, I'm talking about here. And then uh, your private key is your password to do anything on your behalf on the Ethereum network. And then we're going to talk about how to use ERC-20 tokens inside your own apps, okay? So uh, we're going to specifically look at the DAI stablecoin, so this is a really important uh, cryptocurrency in the Ethereum network. It's a stable coin whose price doesn't change. So the price doesn't go up and down. It stays constant. It's pegged to the US dollar, you know, roughly constant. And DAI is an ERC-20 token, which basically means that it follows a specific set of rules uh, that describe how it works. It has a specific set of functions um, and a specific set of behavior that are common to pretty much all uh, Ethereum-based tokens, at least the ones that are used by uh, these major DeFi apps. So if you want to build your own DeFi app, you want to interact with any of these DeFi apps, then you have to understand how ERC-20 tokens work. And so that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to talk to a live ERC-20 token. We're actually going to connect to the Ethereum network and interact with it. You know, we'll send some around. We'll inspect our balance so that you can see how to use it in your own apps. So now let's install a few dependencies before we get coding. Okay. The first dependency is the MetaMask Ethereum wallet. So this is just a Google Chrome extension that lets us, you know, manage our funds on Ethereum. It lets us hold Ethereum tokens, DAI tokens, interact with DeFi projects. So make sure you install that, you know, and set it up and uh, create an account. So the next dependency is Node.js, all right? And you need this to install all the project dependencies for this particular example and also run the code example. So head on over to nodejs.org and go ahead and download the latest version. And finally, you need an Infura account. So Infura is actually going to allow us to connect our code example to Ethereum. I'll explain that more here in a minute, but go ahead and just sign up and uh, save that for later. So now let's get started coding, okay? You can find the final code solution here at GitHub. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. So you can get this project a few different ways. You know, if you're brand new, you can just uh, click code and click download zip right here. And of course, you can just, you know, extract this and go into the project directory uh, inside your terminal, right? Or if you're an experienced developer and you know how to use Git, you can say Git clone and then paste in the URL. All right, so I've already done that. It's going to give me an error. Uh, but once you've got that in your computer, you can just say CD uh, DeFi intro. Okay. And the next thing you want to do is install all of the node packages uh, for the project. So these are the dependencies. Do npm install. 
And then once all your node dependencies are installed, go ahead and open up the project in your text editor. So I'm using Sublime Text. So if you're brand new, you can just head on over, uh, like Google Sublime Text, download this, and it should look exactly like what I'm doing. Okay. So once you open the project, uh, I'm going to open the app.js file. Okay. So this is the final code solution that we're going to run through today. And, um, you know, this is all JavaScript. So if you're just brand new to coding, uh, this is pretty straightforward. You know, JavaScript is a language that's primarily used uh, on the front end, so to speak. So for your web browser, but JavaScript's gotten a lot, adv a lot more advanced over the years and it can run in all kinds of environments. And that's exactly what we're using Node.js for. So this is just a script uh, that we can run repeatedly uh, to uh, do this code solution on our computer. And we're going to build out this script in this tutorial. So basically, uh, it has one function, this run function that we're going to customize. Um, and we call it here. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and clear out everything inside of here. Okay. And uh, just do this. And that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to add tutorial here. All right. But first, let me explain a few more pieces of this. So uh, the first thing we do at the top is uh, connect our script to Web3. So Web3 is a JavaScript library for interacting with Ethereum, okay? So basically what it allows you to do is talk to an Ethereum node, and we need to connect to a node in order to use it, okay? So Ethereum is blockchain, and it's comprised of a bunch of different computers called nodes that all talk to one another, okay? That's how they keep track of, like, the account balances, you know, how many people own how much money, you know, they're responsible for like transferring, settlement, any any kind of interaction that happens in a DeFi, uh, you know, the blockchain handles that. So we need to connect to a single Ethereum node on behalf of the entire network. And that's what uh, Web3.js allows us to do. And then we can call functions with JavaScript um, that interact with Ethereum. So we can fetch our account balance. We can see how much DAI we have. We can transfer DAI. We can interact with DeFi protocols. And that's what we're going to do with Web3.js. And that's what we've done here at the top of this file. So we've just imported the Web3 library and we connect to an Ethereum node like this. And then, of course, we add some more customization, which I'm going to show you how to do now. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to fund your test account because we need some fake Ethereum cryptocurrency or Ether uh, in order to do this tutorial. Um, so you can get some for free at faucet.rinkaby.io. Again, this is just fake cryptocurrency. It's not actually worth anything. But um, here's how you do it. Basically, you make a tweet and you paste your address in here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy my address from MetaMask. Click paste. All right. And then click tweet. And then you'll go to that link, copy it, go back to this page here, and uh, click give me ether. I'm going to click the most amount. But if you do, uh, you have to wait three days before you request any more. So uh, once that's finished, you'll have some. All right, so it's funded. So now I can open MetaMask again. So uh, make sure you click Rinkaby. So click it here. And there you go. Boom. I've got 18.75 Ether. So now I'm going to show you how to get some dye for this tutorial. Okay. So we're going to use Uniswap, you know, which is one of the hottest DeFi apps right now. This is a, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. Um, so I'll show you. Just click launch app. And what it allows you to do is just swap tokens instantly. There's no like, you know, order book. There's no candlestick charts or anything like that. So make sure you're on the Rinkaby test network. Okay. All right, so make sure you connect your account first. So uh, MetaMask will ask you to do that. So just click connect. And once you do, you'll see some balance here. Okay, so we've got 18.75 Ether. And now what we want to do is uh, swap it for some DAI. So you can see DAI listed here. Again, this is just fake DAI on the uh, Rinkaby test network. All right, so let's just put in like one Ether. Or uh, let's just do, or, you know, five ETH or something like that. That gives 28 die. So now this is not the actual redemption rate on the main Ethereum network, but it's going to give you some test die to play around with for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and click swap and confirm swap and then sign the transaction with MetaMask. And boom, there we go. And once that's confirmed, you'll see your transaction here. So this might be your first introduction to a block explorer. So this is Etherscan, where you can basically go verify all the transactions on the Ethereum network. You know, all your account activity is public. You can see it here. Again, this is not the real Ethereum network. It's a test network. But you can see what happened here. Basically, we interacted with the smart contract here that powers Uniswap. And we traded uh, Ether for uh, DAI, okay? You can actually click through this to see the DAI stablecoin smart contract, okay? So this is the one that we're going to use for our tutorial. 
All right, so now that I've cleared this out to its bare bones, basically I took everything out of this run function right here. That's what we're going to fill out together. Um, you need to configure a few more things here. All right, the first is you need to grab your Infura API key. So make sure you go back to Infura and then just copy your API key and then paste it here, okay? So I'm not going to do that on screen, but uh, you need to do that before you continue. And then next, you need to grab your account from MetaMask, okay? So just go in here and just copy your account and then paste it inside of here. All right, and then next you're going to want to uh, also get your private key. So uh, I'll go ahead and say never, ever, 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 ever use a real private key. Never store any money in this account. It's going to be visible to other people if you you know save this code. So just be really careful. Don't ever use this for real money. You can just open MetaMask here and click this little uh, these three dots and go to account details and click export private key. But once you do, just copy it and then go back to your project and then paste it in here. All right, so now I've uh, filled in all my information and I've hidden that off screen, okay? So I suggest you do the same if you're, you know, anyone's watching you do this tutorial. So uh, next, you know, we've configured the die token here, okay? So you shouldn't have to change anything here. This should be set up for you. But let me explain what this is, okay? So um, die is a smart contract and it has an address on the Ethereum network a lot like a username, just like your account does, okay? And so this address right here tells us where the die smart contract is that governs that cryptocurrency on the test network, okay? And then we have this ABI, which uh, just allows us to understand how DAI works, like what functions it has, um, and all that kind of stuff. So you need these two pieces of information in order to create a JavaScript version of DAI, which we're going to use in this tutorial. So the first thing we want to do inside of here is just uh, check how much Ether we have in our wallet, okay? So that's, you know, just the Ethereum cryptocurrency that's native to the blockchain. Uh, we can start off by just saying let result so this is just how you uh, you know define a variable in JavaScript, okay? So we're gonna call it result, and we're gonna um, store the balance of our account like this. So we say result equals await web three, all right? ETH get balance, okay? So it's pretty simple. Basically, we're just using the web three library uh, to fetch our balance. We pass in the account that we stored, you know, at the top of the file. Of course, mine's off screen because my private key. And we can go ahead and run this code to see how it works. Okay, we can just go to our terminal here and uh, say uh, node so app.js. Okay, so node basically is just uh, the way of executing the file with node.js. And then we pass in the file name app.js here and then click enter. And boom, there you go. So the ether balance is 13.74, which is the exact same number that we saw in MetaMask. Okay, so uh, let me explain what this line here does. Basically, this converts the Ethereum balance. So if I just click, if I comment that out and run it again, you'll see that uh, it's this really big number, okay? That's because um, Ethereum doesn't use decimal places. Like most cryptocurrencies don't, uh, to my knowledge. Any of them do. <laughs> so basically, like, this is the way value for Ethereum. So that means that, like, Ethereum has 18 decimal places behind the zero. So uh, it can be divided quite a bit. This is different from like the US dollar that has two decimal places behind it, okay? So what you have to do is convert all of this to a decimal number, and that's what this line here does. So that's uh, web3.utils from way, that's what I was talking about a second ago. You pass in the result and say you want to convert it to ether, uh, and then you uh, format it that way, okay? So run that again and see if we have 13 ether in our wallet. So now what we can do is actually check the die balance, okay? So um, we checked our Ether balance, and now we can see how much die we have in our wallet, like this. So we can do it with Web3, all right? So we have die here, which is the smart contract, and we can interact with it like this. We just say await die methods balance of, okay? So balance of is the function on ERC20 tokens where you determine how much you have, okay? So we pass in uh, account, just like we did here. And after that, we must say call. So you can't just call the function like this. Uh, sorry, you can't call it like that. You actually have to do call at the end, okay? And then we store the result here. And then we also uh, you know, convert it to... Uh, and then we also uh, format it just like we did here. And then we log the result to the console. So let's run the app again. And boom, there we go. We have 13 Ether and 28 die.
So now what we want to do is actually send some die tokens around. So this is a really fundamental thing to understand. You know, if you want to use uh, a DeFi app, you want to earn some passive income, you know, put it in a pool or something like that, um, then you need to understand basically how to just send tokens around on the network. So that's what we're going to do in this step. Okay. So here's what the code looks like to do that. So this looks a little more complex than these two steps before, uh, but it's not that bad. So let me just step through it. First, uh, you need somebody to send the die to. Okay, so I've just put in a dummy address here. So do not send any real cryptocurrency to this address in real life. This is just for the tutorial. Um, that's the two. Uh, that's the recipient. So uh, that's one thing we need. The next one is the amount. Okay, so we're going to send one die. Okay, but uh, we treat it like Ether because it has 18 zeros after the decimal place, just like Ether does. So we can say amount is, you know, Web3 Utils two-way, all right, one Ether, or this is really just, you know, one die, okay? And then um, we create the transaction like this. We talk to the die smart contract, we uh, find its methods, and then we use the transfer function. So this is the ERC20 function that actually, uh, you know, sends die from one person to another. It needs two arguments. The first one is the recipient, so two. And the second one is the amount of die we want to send, all right? So that's how we call the function. Now, that doesn't actually call the function. We actually have to say send. That actually sends the transaction and signs it with our account. So we specify who that's coming from. That's the from. That's the account here, just like we did here. All right. Then the gas limit. So again, Ethereum uh, requires you to pay gas on the network with Ether anytime you create a transaction. So this is the maximum amount of gas that we'll pay. And then we specify the gas price. So in this case, it's just 50 guay. And then finally, uh, we're going to log the transaction to the console so that you can uh, get a link and inspect the result yourself. And now we'll run it like this. Okay. And boom, there we go. We can see the successful transaction here. We can copy this link, uh, go to our browser, paste it in, and there we go. Boom. We've transferred one die uh, from this account to this one. And so finally, we want to inspect the balances after the transfer to observe the change. Okay, so we'll just paste in this block here. This is the same thing from up here, right? Just copy and then paste and then click save. And we'll run the app again like this. So node app.js, it'll transfer die again, but we'll see that the balances actually change. Okay, And boom, there we go. We can see that uh, the die balance went down after we sent some, and also our Ether balance did just a little bit too. All right, so that's an introduction to DeFi programming. You know, we've seen how to talk to Ethereum, how to use your account, how to use tokens, how to send them around, all that kind of stuff. So these are fundamental skills to know if you want to build your own DeFi apps, you know, uh, interact with other DeFi apps, get hired as a developer, you know, whatever. Okay. So if you like this tutorial, then certainly smash the like button down below, subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this when they come out. But if you want to like continue on with this, what, what should you do? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my YouTube uh, courses there. They're just like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. All right. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or Hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely. Just, you know, learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish without having to like look at all these videos out there on the internet, then I can show you how to build a real world DeFi application that goes way beyond any of the free content that I've put out there on YouTube. Just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.